Hello, everyone. Welcome. My name is Kalina Graywall, and I'm the Anthropology Librarian. In this video, you will learn about anthropology databases and search strategies that will make your life easier. Let's begin. The research project for Anthropology 1140 is worth 15% of your mark. Your choices are a research poster with a precy or lightning talk, or a five-page research paper. Regardless of which of these two options you choose, you will do library research. And it's always important to remember that there's a sort of a strategy or a plan. And for most projects, it involves three steps, which we'll talk about next. Most research projects require three stages. You need to find your research inspiration. You need to turn your research question into a search strategy. And you have to know which library resources are appropriate for the topic. It's really important to think about research as something that is interesting to you and that also fits within the requirements for the assignment and also within the broader framework for the class. You can find lots of inspiration on YouTube. I noticed that there are lots of social commentaries and satires that actually have a deep anthropological um, basis. So here's an example from Hassan Minaj. If you watch news sources, especially national news sources like CBC or BBC, you will find that there are lots of stories that are reported that can contribute to anthropological understanding and could turn into an anthropology research question. Here's a story from Vox that is eye-opening. Near Native American reservations and in more urban areas, racist public policies like redlining have historically marked black and brown neighborhoods as less desirable, pushing polluters like highways and factories closer to their homes. Zip code is still the most potent predictor of health and well-being. You tell me your, your zip code, I can tell you how healthy you are. And I can tell you what's in your neighborhood and what's not in your neighborhood. One analysis of eight cities shows residents of historically redlined neighborhoods live with significantly higher levels of air pollution and are more than twice as likely as their peers to visit emergency rooms for asthma today. The research draws a strong connection between history and health and how even now, 80 years after these maps were drawn, they still play a role in not just where people live, but how healthy they are. All these things converge. This Vox documentary is fascinating and it has a lot of components. Let's take a look at how many. When you find your research inspiration, great. Uh, it's time to think about some of the components that you're really interested in and how you're going to put them together into a research question. So, oh, why can't we search the question just as it is? Scholarly articles about environmental racism, cancer, black Americans, and also about COVID and from an anthropology point of view. Well. It's too much. We can turn the inspiration from Vox into a research question. A more manageable question might be, what is the impact of environmental pollution on historically disadvantaged communities in the United States? So now it's your turn. What topic or reading in this course has made you think about the world around you in a new way? If you are wondering how to think about questions and develop questions, you can take a look at Spark, which is an online tool to help you with developing questions. Great, we've done step one. We have a research question. Now what we need to do is turn this research question into a viable search strategy that we can use in various databases. Turn our research question into a search statement, we have to follow three critical steps. The first, identify core concepts. The second, list synonyms or related terms. And the third, to use Boolean logic. And that means using AND and OR. 
The first step is to identify the core concepts. In our question, they are environmental pollution, disadvantaged communities, and the United States. The second step is to look at your concepts and decide, are there better ways to describe the concept? And are there synonyms for it? The first concept, environmental pollution, is better searched as a simpler term, pollution. Our second concept is geographical area, which is the United States. And we'll keep searching as the United States, not America, because there's North America, South America, etc. Within the United States, we will search Louisiana, because that is where Cancer Valley exists. Our third concept is disadvantaged communities, which is a bit vague. This is actually about Black Americans, so we'll search that. Another term for Black Americans is African American. And the concept of disadvantaged communities is based on race, so we'll search that as well. The third step in creating a good search statement is using Boolean logic, and that means using AND and OR. AND is to connect distinct concepts, and OR is to link synonyms. Let's see how that works. For synonyms, use OR between each of the various ways to describe that concept. So in this case, we have Black Americans or African Americans or race. And when those searched as OR, we will get a larger pool of records. Here you can see United States or Louisiana, and that will generate a slightly bigger pool of results. To connect your three concepts, use AND. Here you can see that each of the three concepts has a unique amount of records, and we want to find the records that have all three, and AND does that, so that's a triangle in the middle. To be more efficient in your searches, use a truncation symbol. This is important. This will get you both singular and plural of a word, and it will also get you variant endings of a word, depending on where you put the little star. Another important search function is the quotation mark. When you have a phrase, you need to keep your words stuck together, like Black American, United States, and having them side by side makes more sense for your search. Okay, so let's put everything together now. So we have African American in quotation mark, we have a truncation, we have or Black American or race, and pollution, and United States in quotation marks, or Louisiana. So, now it's your turn. Think about your research question. What are your three main concepts? Make a list of synonyms for each concept. Use and, or, truncation, and quotation marks correctly. And write out a search statement that you will try in the databases. We are now into section three of the library tutorial. Finding resources in the library means using databases. And in this case, Omni, Anthropology Plus, JSTOR, and take a look at Anthrosource when you have time. Omni is the starting point for much of the research that you would do um, for assignments. This is a place where you can find articles, book chapters, and so much more that the library has. Please use the advanced search screen when you're doing a topic search and also make use of the facet limits. To get to the library resources, go to library.yorku.ca. For topic searches, it's best to use the advanced search screen. The advanced search screen allows you to type in one concept per line using your ORs and also using AND. It's really important Omni to use OR in capitals, so you must have capital O, capital R, otherwise the search will not function properly. This search statement generated a lot of results, over 29,000. 
To make the results more manageable, it's important to use facet limits. Facet limits include online, peer-reviewed journals, publication date, etc. Using the facet limits is really the only way to make your searches manageable in Omni. So check mark the ones that make sense for you and your topic. To make this search result more manageable, I check marked available online, peer reviewed journals, articles, the subject anthropology, and the publication years 2010 to 2020. With this smaller result list, I can see that the first article is right on topic. Down Cancer Alley, the lived experience of health and environmental suffering in Louisiana's chemical corridor. I want to see if we have the full text of the article, so I open up the record and follow the steps. By looking at the full record, I can see that this particular article is available from a full text source called Wiley Online. By clicking on the Wiley Online link, it takes me to the full text of the article, and you can see that this is available uh, as a PDF, and that would be the preferred way to read this article. The next source I want to show you is called Anthropology Plus. This is not searchable through Omni, although it has some of the records that are in Omni. It is specifically for anthropologists or by anthropologists, and the search results will be smaller but much more relevant. Use the Research Guides link to get to the anthropology databases. Choose Social Sciences, then Anthropology, and then Finding Articles, and then click on Anthropology Plus. In Anthropology Plus, it's best to use the advanced search screen. So we're going to type in the search as before, Black Americans, or African American, or race, or racism. I'm going to add a term just to see if I get more results. And pollution. I will add United States or Louisiana as before and hit search and see what my results are like. I particularly like the looks of one of the articles so I'm going to open up and see the full record. Your results list will definitely be smaller in Anthropology Plus. In this case, I have five records. A new one for me is Interneighborhood Migration, Race and Environmental Hazards. I'm going to click on the linked full text and take a look at the full article. So here's the full text of the article. It's in PDF, which is great for reading and citing, and it looks to be on topic, so I think I would use that one. The third library resource I want to show you is JSTOR. It has full text articles from academic journals. I would use the advanced search screen and limit search results to only anthropology journals. You can get to JSTOR by using the anthropology research guide as I showed you before. When you are in JSTOR, I would use the advanced search screen. In JSTOR, I'm going to do something slightly different. In the articles that I read, environmental justice, environmental racism were terms that were used. So let me try those and see if it changes my results. So I still want to look at articles or maybe book chapters about the United States or about Louisiana. And I notice that sometimes in uh, American literature, it's called the South. So I will add that term as well. And then I'm going to limit to articles and books. JSTOR is a full text database with many different disciplines covered. I want to use anthropology journals only, so I check mark that. I also want to take a look at book chapters and uh, books. Here's one that looks like it could be interesting, so let me open it up and check out the PDF. This looks on topic. It's called Witness to Truth. It's a chapter in a book. Uh, I particularly love the subtitle, Black Women Heeding the Call for Environmental Justice. So I will take a read and see if it's useful for the assignment. Now it's your turn. Try out your search statement in Omni, Anthropology Plus, JSTOR. 
Anthrosource is a small database, but you might have luck and it could prove interesting for your topic. Let's review how you can do good library research. Develop a research question that interests you, turn your research question into a search statement, remember to identify key concepts, list synonyms, use or and use and, and also remember the asterisks and quotation marks. Also use these library resources, Omni, Anthropology Plus, JSTOR, and Anthrosource. Each is different and has its strengths, and it can offer you unique records, so I would recommend trying them all. In library databases, it's very important to use the facet limits available to you. Things to look out for are online, peer-reviewed, resource type, subject, publication date. Using these will help you to manage your results. Finally, please use the library resources. You do not need to pay for articles or book chapters. Always use your Passport York login to access the databases and the full text articles or book chapters that you need. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope this video helps. There is online assistance available. Check the library homepage for the hours. I want to wish you good luck with your research and I'm looking forward to seeing everyone back on campus. Thank you.